Why is it so hard for you to love yourself? Why is it so hard for you to see the beauty that you have inside? Why is it so hard for you to see yourself as a treasure? So hard for you to see that you're a diamond? Why is it so hard for you to believe in you? Why is it so hard? I totally understand why it's so hard, because it was hard for me. My mom passed away when I was four years old. Grew up with a mentally abusive stepmom. Totally super shy, introverted kid. Got bullied. And I just remember walking the halls, fifth grade, hoping that they noticed me. Low self-esteem. Totally felt inadequate. I was short, and I felt short. Then I discovered the real me. I discovered my gift. And I stopped worrying about everything and all the outside influences. I stopped worrying about what people thought about me. And I started believing in myself. I kicked all the negative demons out of my head. See, sometimes we have to get out of our own head. And there's so many negative self-talks, so many negative conversations that we have with ourselves on a daily basis that lead us to low self-esteem or feeling inadequate. But it's time right now, it's time today for you to kick those negative demons out of your head. They cannot share your same mental space. You need to make sure that you are around the positive, the positive affirmations of the universe, positive affirmations of God to lead you to positive outcomes in your real life. They will lead you to believe in yourself. And that's the first thing I had to do. I had to make a vow to not allow those negative demons in my brain to win. They kept winning every day. I had to treat them like a volcano. I had to make those negative demons lie dormant. And then I had to shovel the dirt over them to make sure they never, ever resurfaced. And anytime they tried to resurface, boom, you got a place to be and it's not in the forefront of my brain. Positive affirmations. I also found myself taking blame for everything that had happened to me. Even the things that I couldn't control. And I bet you feel the same way. I bet you're blaming yourself for things that you had nothing to do with. Before you can move on, you have to forgive yourself. Before you can really love yourself, you have to forgive yourself. I'm a hip-hop guy. And there's a song by the rapper Squarface where he says, I don't love me. How in the world can I love you? It all starts with loving yourself. But you have to forgive yourself. I know they did that to you. You didn't do it to yourself. Don't you take the blame for that. Don't make yourself feel like you're not worthy to be loved. Don't make yourself feel like you're not worthy to execute a phenomenal game plan and live the life of your dreams just because of something that someone did to you in the past. Yeah, we make our own mistakes. And we have to find a way to forgive ourselves for those as well. But don't you dare take the blame for something that someone else did to you in the past and carry it like baggage. You let that baggage go. Forgive yourself. That's the pathway to loving yourself. You also have to be strong enough to say no. Remember, you teach people how to treat you and they will walk all over you if you let them. So when you love yourself enough to say no, when they ask you to do certain things that are not in your character, you quickly will say, no, I'm not doing that. Because I know if I allow myself to go there, I'm going to be the one that's hurt. I'm going to be the one that's broken. I'm going to be the one that's battered and bruised. So absolutely not. And I've said this many times before. Some of you guys are weak and you're quick to say yes. But allow me to introduce you to your new favorite word. No. Love yourself enough to say no. And finally, I know for me, there came a point in the time where I was in a relationship and it ended and I sat down and I self-assessed and I told myself, listen, I'm not where I want to be at in my mental space and in my physical space. Let me learn how to be okay with me. Let me learn how to be okay loving me. Let me learn how to be okay walking alone in my own personal space for a while. And that's the exact same thing that I need you to do. I need you to learn to be okay by yourself. Stop thinking that you always have to be with somebody else to feel loved. Love you some you. Love yourself enough 
to wake up every day and be simply okay if it's just you, yourself, and you. Figure out your likes, figure out your dislikes. But never ever again feel like you need somebody else to validate you. You need nobody else's stamp of approval. And I promise you, when you're okay in your own skin, and you love yourself enough to realize, I don't need anybody else to validate me. That's when the universe, that's when God, will allow the right person to walk into your life. But today, it's all about you figuring out your strengths, figuring out your weaknesses, figuring out your likes, figuring out your dislikes, and finding a way to stop hating yourself and start the journey and start the process of totally 1,000% loving you. Because believe it or not, you are worth it. And so if you're not strong enough to get into a mirror and say positive affirmations like I am enough, I am worthy, I'm phenomenal, I'm awesome, then I am the reflection of you in the mirror right now telling you that you are enough, you are worthy, you are awesome. You were born to be a leader, you are the one, you are the chosen one because you have a gift to share with the world and the world needs your gift. So today, please take the necessary steps. Guess what? Once you love yourself, you find yourself winning each and every day. And you officially climb the hump. And now you can make each and every day of the rest of your life. Oh, Wednesday.